What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Jandy GXI Swimming Pool Heater Pro Series with VersaFlow. This is a very nice heater. I love the keypad. We're going to be talking about this while I'm doing the install. So I hope I provide enough information in this video. Um, I love the design of this. This is small, compact. It is sturdy uh, metal construction. Five-year warranty when it comes to the VersaFlow technology. You, you could also opt out and get the JXI heater without the VersaFlow technology. We'll be talking about that later in this video. It also comes with a gas line already threaded into the gas valve. It's very small. It's compact. And I believe it only weighs a little bit over 100 pounds. And the top can also be rotated 180 degrees this particular heater is 400,000 BTUs this one like I said does have the VersaFlow technology bypass for the hydraulic efficiency as well as the energy um, so this is gonna be a pretty cool video and we're gonna be talking a lot about this stuff it's compatible with most automation systems as well so you can hook up with the Jandy iAqua link Pentair systems Hayward systems and most other uh, automation systems as well and we can't forget that this thing is also dual volt rated. When by when I say that, it means it could do 120 volts or you can do 240 volts. And it all depends on what you have available at your equipment pad. So you can do 120 or you can do 240, which makes it pretty nice. And also, that's pretty much standard when it comes to heaters these days as well. To be honest, I worked on a lot of GXI heaters by Jandy. And I've always liked working on them, but I've never actually installed one. So this is actually my first installation of JXI. And you guys are going to see it firsthand you're going to see some mistakes i made you're going to see some things i love about the heater and you might even see some things i don't like about the heater but right now we're taking all this crap out that is an old pentair minimax nt i've never liked that heater that i'm taking out right now even when it was new um and i still work on those till today and when i get those calls i just cringe because i just don't like those heaters and they're just junk in my opinion so we'll get this out here and then we'll get it on rolling and we'll actually talk about the Jandy JXI and what all that can provide for you out there out in the field and what you can expect when you get one of these and it's time for you to install one. Now right out of the gate we were off level at this equipment pad. So what I normally do is I get door shims from Home Depot if it's just off a little bit or if it's off a lot what I use is these black rubber squares from the HVAC supply house. and. Uh, that's what I had to do because we were off about a half an inch. So I just get these black rubber squares from the HVAC supply house and I put them under the feet of the heater and I make sure it's sturdy. I make sure it's not going anywhere. And if I have to, I'll also anchor it to the concrete of the equipment pad area. But now that we're level, we can go forth with the other processes of installing this uh, JXI heater. What I wanted to talk to you guys about that is very important because this VersaFlow technology on this JXI is one of its kind. There's not a heater out there right now that does this. And what this does is it only allows a small percentage of water to go through the heater when there's no call for heat, when it's non-operational. That's why they could give you this five-year warranty on this exchanger. There's not another company out there that has this technology on their heaters right now, which makes this heater probably one of the best heaters that you can buy right now on the market. I highly recommend you get the JXI with the VersaFlow technology because the least amount of water that goes through that exchanger only means long-term durability for you and the customer also you'll get greater flow which also means less TDH and all the goodies that come along with not having water going through that heat exchanger for no absolutely reason when the heater is not operational so as you can see we just took the door off and what we have here is you have your power distribution board your ignition control module and your power interface board. Everything's so easy to get to and work on, it's kind of unbelievable. And not only that, this whole door swings upward and outward like you needed to do that anyways, but you can to even work on it with even more ease. Right there, that's where you change it from 240 volts to 120 volts right there just by cutting that zip tie and reversing that clip. So it's pretty cool. So far, so far, so good. So we're gonna take the backside door off this JXI heater by Jandy and we're gonna see what's up and what's inside of it I already know so basically what you're gonna see is nothing but clean engineering and the fact how easy it is to get to everything so they really put in some effort and some thinking and designing this heater I'm not gonna lie like there's the blower there's your pressure switch that little white thing on top of the drum is your hot surface igniter and then you have your gas valve um, it's too damn clean to be honest it is 
thought out way too damn well, and I cannot say anything bad about this heater yet, and it's kind of pissing me off. The engineers were, like, really on point on this. I don't understand what is going on here. It even comes with a gas line already to the gas valve. This is ridiculous. So we just installed this gas line. Just make sure you do a sediment trap. You know, I've never seen any sediment in these sediment traps, and to be honest, uh, they're questionable. But they're code, and that's what the manufacturer wants as well. So you might as well do it, and you might as well do it right. And uh, so this is what we did, and it came out clean. It's not too bad. I'll take it. Now it's time just to do the electrical. What I should have done was is we took off this panel, and we really didn't need to. Uh, next time I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the top cover off this heater, and it's easy to access to all that stuff, and it's going to be a lot easier to wire. Like I said, this is my first install on a JXI, so I took the cover off, the side cover, when all I really needed to do was pop off the top and wire it up that way. It's a lot more easier. So don't do what I'm doing right here. Uh, just take off the top cover, and it's really easy and real nice to get to. And we're going to speed up old timer right here. Uh, once again, we're right, wiring it up for 220, 240, whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. Um, so, like I said, we did the side of the panel. You really don't have to do the side of the panel. You can just take off the top and do it from there. Um, choice is yours, but the next time I will be doing the top panel. And uh, wires up pretty easy. Wires up pretty great. Uh, everything's just clean, and like I said, it's just engineered nice. Um, so, like I said, it's dual volt rated. Um, now, remember I told you guys, this top cover is reversible by 180 degrees. So, anytime you're going to work on this thing or do any type of installation or service I would take this cover off every time and all it is is those two black screws on each side one by the heater exhaust vent and on the opposite side of that and it's two black screws they're color matched so you know hey this goes to the top cover and once you get those screws off all you got to do is just pop the top it's just easy as that like we never even popped the top before and it just came off like that so it's pretty cool in any case that you need to reverse the display you can reverse it you just turn it right over and it put those screws back on and you're good to go but what I like about this the most is once you take that cover off you can get to everything with ease and like it's just great you can see everything inside it's just nice to have and this is what I'm talking about once you take that cover off you can access pretty much everything so and it just looks clean you can get in there it's not like you're working on like some type of BMW or something where you got you can't get to anything you know what I'm saying so it's pretty nice I like it like I'm really impressed right now there's not anything bad I can say about this heater now when it comes to the plumbing you have two options on the inlet you could go through the top or you can go through the side port but like I said you can only get this option on the inlet don't try this on the discharge side okay so on the inlet you can go through the side or you can go through the top whichever one you want to pick that's where you're going to plumb and then you're going to put the cap so I could have put the cap here on this top port but I'm going to use this top port and if I wanted to plumb in on from the side I would have used the side and then put the cap on the top port hope that makes sense but on the inlet you have two options to plug into okay plumb into okay on the outlet you only have one option there's nothing else so pretty nice as you can see I use a top port when it comes to my plumbing I you know it really hurts me and pains me to say this because I've been a pin tear guy for so long, but this heater is nice and I have nothing bad to say about it. It is a nice freaking heater and I'm going to start putting these heaters in <laughs> and it really hurts me to say that because I've been a pin tear guy for so long, but these guys with this Jandy GXI, they did something great here and it's just, I got to be able to pass that on to the customer as well. Anytime you're going to turn this thing on, all you do is hit the spa or pull button. It tells you the water temp. You use the up and down arrow to set your temp, and you just walk away. It's got a nice keypad on there. And everything about this heater is just nice. And I can't say anything bad about it other than you can only plumb in the gas line on one side. But that's with most heaters. In fact, all heaters you don't have an option where to put your gas wherever the gas valve is in the heater that's where it's at but dang this heater's been around for a while now and because i was a pintail lover for so long i stayed away from this heater but now that i got one of these 
and I know heaters so damn well, this is one of the best heaters to buy out on the market today. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment anything below. I hope this video served you some purpose, served you some value. Um, this is just my honest review and my honest opinion. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the support. Wait till the next one. For better videos, follow us on Instagram, pool underscore volution.